Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to this is not your card card trick you will have seen yesterday. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. You are going to need two cards which are different to this deck. I'm using a blue deck so you're going to get two cards from a different deck. These are two red cards. You're also going to need a friction pen. This is a pen when the ink is erasable with heat and some post-it notes. Um, to make life easier, this is um, three cards stuck together. So this is a hard card. This is just me making my life as easy as possible. And I've also got a top of the box gaff, but with the magnet still showing because I am that lazy, but I've, I didn't use this in performance because I had the box the wrong way around. But I'm going to show exactly what I was planning on doing. So we go back to this bit. This card, you're going to write, this is not your card on some sticky white labels. And you're going to stick it on any card. This does not matter. But you're going to write that with a regular biro. So you're going to write, this is not your card. And then you're going to get another sticky label. And you're going to write, this is not your card again, but you are not going to write the not this time, but you are going to write it so it looks the same as this. So we're going to write, this is, you're going to forget the not, your card. Now, at a quick glance, the writing is pretty similar. Can you see that? Then you're going to get your friction pen and you're going to write the not not so remember which card this is the indifferent card this is the card i'm going to force the four of spades so you're going to get your label and you're going to stick this in the same place as that one on this card the indifferent card is going to go in the box orientation of this correct for the spectator face up close that put the box aside now I've got a top of the box gaff here, although I haven't covered it, but it does not matter that this is not covered. I wanted to make this flimsy, but you've got the magnet. So this is going to attract, oh, sorry, to the top of the box. And I've got a hard card here. So you're going to start out with your hard card. Now you've got to get a pinky pull down on two cards. It's quite hard and with camera, I didn't want to be fumbling around. So if I've got a hard card, it makes it easy to get a pinky pull down on two cards look. So I've got a hard card. This is literally three cards stuck together. And on the bottom of that, you're going to put your fourth card, the four of spades, making sure to remove the original four of spades out of this packet if there is one which there isn't because I've got no decks that are actually the whole deck. Making sure the orientation is correct for the spectator. So that's on the bottom, a red card. On the top of the deck, I've got the top of the box gaff this way round. I know it looks weird, but you never see this bit. And then two indifferent blue cards on top of that. And your lighter, right. Let me just show you something crazy. Forget the box for a minute. Right, I'm going to riffle down the side. Basically, you've got your force card on the bottom. I'm going to swing cut, put these cards together, holding a break at the back, making sure I don't lose that break because I'm trying to show you. But you're going to swing cut, put these packets together, holding a break. You're going to riffle force the four of spades. While you're showing the four of spades, you're going to Get a pinky break under this top card. So when you put you show the four of spades, you're going to put this back together. You're going to steal that card from here, and then you're going to double undercut everything to the bottom. Basically, in the eyes of the spectator, you've just cut the cards, but all you've done is put a different card on top of the fourth card, which is now above the thick card. You're now going to say. <clears throat> If I pick up the box and I wave it over the top, your card jumps out of this deck and into the box. Crazy, I know. You can put these cards down, making sure you don't flash this 
gaff on the top, <coughs> excuse me, and then proceed to open up the box and tip out the nine of hearts. Put the box face up. Now this wasn't your card, was it? Damn it. Place this card on the top of the deck and when it's on the top, you're gonna pinky pull down on those two bottom cards. Sorry, I couldn't even do it myself. Then you're going to pinky pull down on the two bottom cards. You're going to hold a thumb break. You're now going to swing cut this one and say, look, I know your card wasn't the nine of hearts because on the back it says this is not your card. So you're going to show them. I mean, you could turn this over again and say, look, the nine of hearts, this is not your card. And the next time you turn this over, you're going to deposit these two cards, a blue card and the card which says this is not your card with the removable ink. So you're going to show them this is not your card and it says it on the back this is not your card. So I know your card is not the nine of hearts. Next time you do this you're going to deposit those two cards and push off this card. Now the nine of hearts is hiding under this blue card. Now if you put this packet back under here and place this on the deck because all the heat is on this one for a minute you can show your spectator this is not your card. You're going to pick up your lighter and you're going to remove the knot. My God. Now it says this is your card. So this can't be your four of spades, can it? Um, word to the wise, you are probably going to ruin a card if you put the heat on it for too long. This one's perfectly fine. Now, the beauty of the top of the box, which I didn't use in performance because I had the deck this way around, I forgot, is the fact that the spectator can now examine. Are you sure you haven't got another red card in that packet? Top of the box has stolen the original card. It'll be hiding under here. So all you need to do is put the box aside and spread these cards they can look for another four of spades they won't find one and also they won't find another red card because it's hiding under here but like i said in performance when i did it i had this on the top like this but i got the box this way around i forgot to turn it around so when i put them on like this um i cocked it up basically i couldn't show you the deck after but if you've got the deck this way around place it on here do your magic with this card and then sure examine these cards there is no other red card so i do hope that tutorial was clear enough guys it's just a friction pen a thick card this is three cards stuck together now a lot of you guys won't need to bother with that but if you're trying to get a pinky pull down in a performance situation under a camera it's it's quite tricky to get a pinky pull down on two cards and not think oh shit was it one was it two if you've got a thick card on the bottom it's so easy to get that pinky pull down on them two cards it just happens so that's how i did it guys comment subscribe like and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers